Current therapeutic options for wet AMD include laser photocoagulation for extrafoveal neovascularization and photodynamic therapy for subfoveal neovascularization. Laser photocoagulation and photodynamic therapy represent major therapeutic advances. However, for most patients, they only slow the progression of vision loss and there is a high rate of recurrence after both types of laser treatment. Eligibility for such therapies is limited to patients with predominantly classic CNV with clearly demarcated neovascular zones. Unfortunately, in most patients, CNV is predominantly occult and the entire neovascular region is not readily localized angiographically. Therefore, there is a large, unmet medical need. Several pharmacologic options currently under investigation target the underlying angiogenic process. Some groups are looking at both traditional and newly developed steroids injected either intravitreally or by subtenons injection. An intravitreal implant may be another possible route of delivery in the future. A potential method of preventing vascular proliferation and permeability is to develop an agent that binds VEGF and that may prevent its interaction with the VEGF receptors. Anti-VEGF therapy could represent a promising treatment strategy targeting the molecular origins of coronal neovascularization. The advent of such new therapeutic tools may provide new hope for preventing vision loss in our patients with wet AMD.